what's going on YouTube you already know who it is back at another video for you guys today so a while back somebody requested me to check out this video why oysters are so expensive this is from business insider okay so we're gonna see why um, oysters are so expensive you know what I'm saying why they so merch um, I never had any oysters before I do know I've heard they taste pretty good and I do know they're like an aphrodisiac or something like that like something to do with sexual activities or something you're my Afro DJ. Come on, Brandy. All right. And thank y'all for going crazy on that video that I was reacting to uh, by Brandy, Baby Mama. Okay, I like the song. Shout out to the stars out there. But let's go ahead and check this out, shall we? In about a three, two, one. Oysters so damn are a gooey, sure though. sign of high-end I don't high like gooey foods like that. Mm -mm. But look back 200 years and they were handed out as free bar snacks. So what made them the luxury food that they are today? Can you hear that shit? Oysters have been around for a while. Estimates put the shellfish at around 300 million years old, at least. And humans have been enjoying them for centuries. Oyster cultivation was invented by Sergius Arata, a Roman engineer also often credited with the invention of underfloor heating. And since his invention, oyster farming has become big business. While you may be seeing oysters on the menu more these days, their popularity now is nothing compared to just 200 years ago. Oyster sales boomed wow, from the early 19th century onwards, pictures. and the shellfish were sold as street food across London, Paris, and New York, as they remained a cheap and accessible snack to many. In 1860, the small British seaside town of Whitstable alone was sending 50 million tons of oysters to London each year. And by 1900, New York was eating 1 million oysters every day. But as their popularity grew, so did the problems. Industrialization and dredging of the waters in England led to overfishing. And as more people moved to the coast, more and more sewage ended up dumped in oyster growing waters. Soon there were outbreaks of typhoid humans. and other diseases, and many oyster beds had to be closed. Damn, they just said typhoid. Hard winters and new diseases Fucking killed off many change, of the remaining man. native oysters, and gave the shellfish a bad reputation you humans, that lasted for years trifling. to come. There's something else that kept the price of oysters down around the turn of the century. Child labor. In the early 20th century, American photographer Lewis Hine captured photographs of many of the children working in the oyster industry. Even photographing four-year-old Mary, who had apparently shucked two pots of oysters each day. Things had to change though. We soon realized the importance of clean water in the oyster growing process and outlawed child labor. Making oysters environmentally safe and ethical to grow came at a cost, as the shellfish take a lot of work to produce. And now when oysters are raised, the environment they're grown in is one of the main considerations. Here, there's no industry, there's very little even farming here. What you've got out in the loch is just everything that is natural in the loch. So they're feeding on the best possible feed that you could want, and uh, they couldn't be an any more natural product. Each oyster takes two to three wow. years to mature, and they start out microscopically small. That's crazy. The tiny two point five million. Hatcheries. When they're large enough, they're transplanted to their final growing place. Wow. Uh, well, we get the oysters in from our hatchery when they're about your thumbnail size. We will grow them in these baskets for approximately two to three years, and then we'll send them to the depuration center uh, for depurating and then for packing for dispatch. At Loch Fine, every oyster is depurated, a process that cleans the oysters and removes any dangerous bacteria. Every single oyster must be checked by hand, making sure that each wow. oyster is shipped live is paramount. Uh, believe it or not, we sell roughly about 35,000 oysters every week out of here. And Damn. every single oyster is individually checked. So what we would do is when we're packing the oysters, we'd pick up two oysters and we would tap them together. Now you can obviously see that one's dead, but when you're packing thousands at a time, you won't necessarily see it. And sometimes it's only open just a little tiny bit. But when you tap that oyster, you can hear it's hollow straight away. And that is the best way to tell if an oyster's uh, gonna reach its shelf life, whether it should be discarded. Wow. 
Oysters may only have a nine-day shelf life, but that doesn't stop them being shipped all across the globe. And their popularity and image as a luxury treat means that their demand is only going to rise. Yeah, people love oysters. Wow. I didn't know that uh, oysters, oysters were that small. Like, wow. Like, when they first, you know, start off and develop, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was in school for a minute. This took me back, y'all. In my high school days, I used to watch videos like this with, like, the sea life and, you know, sex ed. So if you guys have some more of these, let me know in the comment section, okay? And if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Comment below with some of your favorite, like, seafood, I should say. Or um, anything as such regarding to food. As well as anything I can react to for you guys next. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram. Hit that notification bell so you guys know I have a video up and loaded. And once again, you guys, please wash your hands. Wash your ass. And uh, stay safe. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a fool. Don't fall for the foolery. Okay? I know you're probably tempted to go to the mall or the beach. Or wherever you've gone before this whole happen but be smart people be smart we're trying to overcome this hopefully okay all i want to do is was well, other things i want to do but all i want to do right now is get my hands on the last of us part two next month the remaster will rehydrated spongebob game um and find out some news about grand theft auto 6 that's it I'm a gamer, so you guys should understand where I'm coming from. But yeah, you all, have a great weekend, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all for watching. It's Taylor Rain, and I'm out.